Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today we have this fancy European in the shop. Drop top. It's a BMW 325CI. 2006 model a year. Trust the complaint is uh, check engine lights on. And on the generic side we have a P0442 EVAP system small leak detected. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, what's the standard procedure here? Pinch off the vent or close it bidirectionally and then put a smoke machine on the purge side here under the hood and you know see where the leak is. But this is a BMW, so it might get a little tricky. First of all, where the heck is the purge solenoid? And where the heck is the vent solenoid? Well, the perch solenoid, not too hard to find. We have uh, transmissions here waiting for install. That's for the MPV. That's for the Rogue. So I've got some work lined up for sure. But, EVAP, let's see. So, that little hose right there comes over. Here, 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 and where you can't see it, right under the intake, right there, is our purge solenoid. Okay, great. So we can take that hose off, hook up our smoke machine, good deal. However, where is the vent? <laughs> so, on all data, you come in here, there's our vehicle. First of all, where the heck are the trouble code descriptions? Usually they're up here. Uh, then we go to locations. Now I can save you some time because I actually wasted, oh I don't know, maybe an hour searching on all data. I could not find anything, anything. Component locations, connector locations, I mean, you don't even know where to start. Uh, wiring diagrams on BBB Industries, I actually found this uh, diagram for the EVAP system. So, again, this is the only information I have to work with. Diagnostic module for fuel tank leakage. So, this is a leak detection pump system where there's a little motor here like a pump and it closes off the system at the vent so this thing is kind of an assembly a vent, a pump motor and I assume some kind of heater but anyways closes off the vent, pumps down the system and somewhere in there there should be a pressure gauge or switch of some sort to uh, let you know if the system is sealed. Sweet. <laughs> so fancy of you. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> so uh how's the how's the MPV treating you, baby? <laughs> no. You want your you want your car back? <laughs> I'm ready I'm ready. I'm ready for him back. Oh I'm ready. 14 19.6 miles. Uh, 20 miles per gallon, okay, okay, okay. Not too bad. Yeah, pretty bad. You know what? At least you got you to work and back. <laughs> Gotta start working on this junker. You know, you left your lights on. What are you gonna drain his battery? Look at this. PA historic antique vehicle. Still the most reliable on the lot. 
<laughs> we'll get the rogue fixed up soon enough. I drove through town and you wonder the people must. Where were we? So, in any case, we either have to locate this unit. It is M119A. That's the code number for this pump. And you can go to all data. And down here we should have ooh, electric motors. You would think it would be in here. Right? M. One eighteen oh one nineteen A is not there. So I don't get it. You pay for the service, all data, and then you get absolutely no information. I even looked up uh connector diagrams, connector locations. So you know you can go to connector X1714, X6041. None of these are listed in all data. Really, really frustrating. So, last resort. Well, I did call Keith up and he said it was somewhere by the right rear wheel. I guess we could do a visual inspection, but we can also go on Google, try to get a picture. Oh look, helpful people on YouTube have already posted some <laughs> some uh, videos so maybe we'll go there but let's locate this thing and the strategy here is going to be let's see I guess close off the vent electrically because that is part of the system if you just pinch off a hose you might still miss your leak because the vent could be leaking so we'll ground this wire out manually because there's no bi-directional control here which is uh, again a shame so let's locate it ground this wire out close off the vent and put the smoke machine on the purge and just see if we have a uh, smoke leakage anywhere so with this silly thing supported on jack stand we got to our prize so back here is where the canister lives and the pump and I can see the wires coming in right here at this plug so there should be four wires so let's look at our wiring diagram and see uh, which one to activate interesting system huh okay now I wonder if you know this thing lives right by the wheel and as you can see on our gravel lane everything gets packed with dust and the vent itself could be messed up just like it was in the Nissan Rogue but I'm sure it's not going to be a cheap fast free easy fix so let's get to the wiring diagram oh, let's see here so we want to ground out this SWGN. Now, in case you don't know German, I also on Google looked up a wiring code. SW is black, and so it's going to be a black and green wire. So let's find that one and uh, turn the key on and see if we can hear a click. Well. I knew this was going to happen, trying to disconnect the hose for the vent, right over there, right there, that guy, right here, snap clean off, fantastic, now, I also noticed that this, whatever this is, this solenoid is burning hot right now, it is crazy hot to the touch. Is that normal? I don't know. No idea. It can't be good. <clears throat> hmm. 
I'm going to adapt my smoke machine somehow to that nipple and uh, try to do a smoke test. Can anyone tell me why they made this vent hose from hose, nylon line, to hose, to weird nipple, weird connector, I mean, why? Why BMW? There's no reason for this. This is going to get heat baked. I bet if I push on it, it's going to snap right in half. There's really no, uh, no reason to do this at all. I think I might just cut this off and replace this section and the elbow with a regular, you know, whatever, quarter inch hose because this is uh, ridiculous. All right, simple and sweet, quarter inch fuel vapor line. Put it on the remains of the plastic on there. And this end is going to go right on the piece that we cut off right there. So we don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. Garbage. <clears throat> and now we can hook up our smoke machine very easily. So kill two birds with one stone right there. Alright, we're just checking our smoke machine here. Got it on full blast. We should see smoke coming out of somewhere around here. There we go. Where are they coming out of? Smells like gas though. It's coming down from the gas cap area. It's not coming from the from over there. It's coming from under the wheel well. This is bizarre. Definitely smells like gas. Oh, is that coming out of the vent pipe right there? It's coming from here. I'm not kidding. It's also coming from the vent. But this is a problem. Pop the gas cap. This is going to be a uh, silly. They can't figure out how to open the gas tank. Maybe it's just this simple. Wah wah wah. Well, this could could just be a loose gas cap. Great video, Ivan. <laughs> I'm just trying to recreate it. There's definitely smoke right now. Tighten it until it clicks. <sighs> Done. No more smoke. Smoke coming out and 
and he just might not have tightened his gas cap down. That's weird. Wow. Let's see the fuel gauge. Fuel gauge is I don't know how long this thing's been on. How about quarter tank? Well, let's still plug this uh, vent line with our electrical test and make sure there are no leaks at all. So we have the key on and the test light right here is hooked up to that black and green wire on the connector <coughs> on this uh, DMTL unit. Now if we touch the other side to the ground, if the test light can pass enough current to close this valve, we should hear a click. Yep, and see lights up dimly, and it opens up again. So I'm going to attach this permanently to this uh, ground, and then we'll run our smoke test again and make sure there are no more uh, leaks. We turn on our smoke machine, you can see the flow ball is dropping. The system is filling up with pressure. Something here is ticking away. Maybe the gas tank's expanding a little bit or something. But we see absolutely no smoke there. And no smoke at our gas cap. And before we did, so it might have been cracked just a hair. Oh, see all that? Very uh very sensitive. See how quickly that releases pressure? So let's let this system stabilize. This guy should drop all the way down. We'll give it a couple minutes and make sure this vehicle is fixed. It's been a few minutes. We are at zero flow. That is awesome. It's just a loose gas cap. Imagine that. I'm going to let a little bit of pressure out. As you can see the uh, everything works. But anyways, I can see the comments already. Ivan, why don't you just check the gas cap first? Well, how are you supposed to check it? You can't touch anything until you test the system. If you go over there and you click the gas cap, you didn't prove anything at all. You you need to do a leak test, you know because the code says very small leak. Now, in this case, to hook up the smoke machine and set everything up, we needed to take off that cover to ground out that wire for the vent and then break this hose to hook up our smoke machine. So it's all part of the process to 100% verify the repair. Um, I guess you could just first throw a gas cap on it. That would fix it. Or the guy just forgot to click it. You know, it's he doesn't even need a gas cap. So, for one hour of diagnostics on a BMW, I think that's a good deal. And he knows the system is sealed and the light will not return. So, we'll reset the codes and uh, that'll be it. So, appreciate you guys watching. It's a little high in here. <clears throat> I got some transmissions to install. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.